Hello and welcome. This is Mel Skinner and we're back with some more Pillars of the Earth. Let's go ahead and take a look at what we've got here. Okay. Got the monks. So Andrew's over there. Got more monks. Then we have knights. Okay, well, let's see what we got here. What is this? It's an invasion. That's what it is. Okay. Brother Philip, I'm afraid these soldiers are looking for your brother. He has just arrived. Two of them followed him into the cloister. No, no, no. Okay. Looks like that's not going to work. <laughs> Just yet. They said they're looking for someone. They were questioning some of our brothers. What is happening here? Return to your brothers, monk. We'll question you soon enough. You have no right to be here. Stand back. You cannot pass here. They won't let us through. I tried. What is going on here? All right. Well, we do have a way around, it looks like, with the door here. So let's go that way. Oh, we recognize What's one of these. It would be easier for us all if you just came with us. <laughs> what about the child? Is it yours? <laughs> Francis. Like it or not, you'll be coming with us. We were looking for you. You must be mistaken. We got your description. If it fits a man, we bring him in. What are you doing here? And who is... Who is that? I found him. In the woods. Hey! Hey! We fed him goat's milk in St. John's. Johnny Eightpence did. He says he misses you. He was always very sentimental. Hey! Philip, you must not tell these men my name. My Lord Robert of Gloucester believes me to be in Winchester. I gave the letter to the bishop. He said he'd help. May God have mercy on us. I was wrong to send you. I... What is it? These men are with the bishop. He is here in Kingsbridge. The bishop is here? Hey, you two. You should listen when you're spoken to. Who are you? And what about the child? Did you make it? Did you two do it and make a little baby? <laughs> By God, you look so funny. Oh, come on, let me hold him. <laughs> a name, or both of your names. Come on, you two. Give us something we can work with. The child is under my protection. Oh, is it now? <laughs> Good for you, monk. What's your name? And don't pretend you can't talk, because I'm sick of listening to you. I am Philip. Philip of Gwyneth. Hmm. It's him we're looking for, not the other one. Monks. They all look alike. We were looking for you. Bishop Whalerun wants to see you. Oh. We found him. He's here. Tell the bishop. They found the monk. The bishop. Tell the bishop. Go on, monk. We'll all keep an eye on you. You will be safe. What are you waiting for? Oh. All right. I and now I realize why she doesn't want to marry this scumbag. All right. 
I don't have anything to interact with here, it doesn't look like. Tell the bishop. I thought he would at least be what is going on here, Philip? I, I don't know. The bishop knows he's here. We told him. He's expecting you, Mom. This definitely doesn't look good. These guys are very aggressive with uh, their stance. Philip. There you are. The right Reverend Bishop Wainland Bygon. Philip and I are already acquainted. You were looking for me, my bishop? <coughs> I was. Remigius, Philip does look distressed, does he not? Yes, he does. Tell me, what is on your mind? Okay. Who are these men looking for me? Or soldiers invaded the priory. Either one would be accurate, but let's not be aggressive here. These men who were looking for me, who are they? And why are they here? Oh, them, of course. I have gotten too used to the presence of knights and nobles. <laughs> the work of a bishop. The reason why these men are outside right now is your letter, Philip. As I suspected, it did convince my allies to go against the Earl of Shiring. These allies of mine insisted that their knights should accompany me along with their son. And very soon, they will ride against the Earl. I understand, my bishop. Philip, I have the feeling that there is a storm rising. Right here. In Kingsbridge. And in the eye of that storm stands one man. You. Around you, things... Things begin moving. Don't they, Remigius? Yes. But there is one important thing you have kept from me. There is? My bishop... You did not mention that you, Philip, were nominated to be prior of Kingsbridge. I... The brothers here will elect their new prior today, will they not? The election will take place in a few hours, my bishop. We need a strong prior. James was my friend, but a strong prior he was not. We are in agreement on these matters, are we not, Remy? Of course, right, Reverend. Uh, the bishop and I agreed you should have this. Hmm. Okay, let's inspect this. Okay, Prior James Rosary. It was found by Subprior Remigius at the river near the spot where Kingsbridge Old Kingbridge Kingbridge's old prior is believed to have broken into the ice. To this day, James's grave in the cathedral remains empty. The icy stream most likely carried the prior's body away. The monks believe that James was chased onto the ice in the small hours of Christmas Day. Some believe by the devil himself. But who is to tell what happened? But for there... Let's just scroll down here. That For there was no one out on the river that night, aside from prior James, was there? Philip received the rosary in January of 1136 from Remigius and Bishop Waleran as a token of goodwill and trust on the day of the election of the new prior of King Kingsbridge. All right. Well, I actually am a little bit surprised how this is going, but it still has an undertone of malice. And I find it very interesting that the man that just proposed to the daughter of the Earl of Shiring is here to wage war on him. <laughs> very well. Now, when your distinguished guests arrive, what will be the subject of your first sermon as the new prior of Kingsbridge? Okay. Talk about courage and change. I guess. Or talk about how a prior is not superior. Hmm. 
Courage and change, probably not what we want to go for necessarily, because <laughs> that seems like what these guys are not interested in at all. So, let's we'll say talk about how our prior is not superior. I think what I would talk about is... I beg your forgiveness, but I do not understand. Most of your brothers agree with me on this matter. Remedius has talked to them. They will vote for you. As will I. And I will support you in your duties in my role as sub-prior. A role you have fulfilled wonderfully in the past, Remedius. Wonderfully. My bishop? Philip of Gwynedd. You will be the new prior of Kingsbridge. Oh. In humbleness, I stand before you, most humbled by your trust and humbled by the great tasks ahead of us. We must restore Kingsbridge to do justice to the glory of God and to his mercy. The desperate and the hopeless everywhere shall hear our bells. They shall see our towering cathedral. Our great church will become a guiding light, but first and foremost, through our actions and our faith, we ourselves shall be such a light. A light to the lost, the hurt, and the suffering on their path to God. The Earl of Shiring is not in attendance, it seems. He is not. Shameful. He's busy preparing his siege on Winchester. I trust he does not know we are about to foil his plans, Percy. Answer the bishop, my husband. No, no, he does not expect us, not at all. My men are ready. So is our son. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. There you are. What's the matter? Did I have a father? Yes. Everyone has a father. What happened to him? He died before you were born. How could he be my father if he died before I was born? Babies grow from a seed. The seed comes out of a man's prick and is planted in a woman's cunny. Then the seed grows into a baby in her belly, and when it's ready, it comes out. Okay, well, ask that instead. Why did you never tell me? About father, I mean. I needed you to be older. Trust me, once the time is right, I will tell you everything. I promise. What was my father's name? Jack. The same as you. They called him Jack Sherberg. So, if there's another Jack, I can tell people that I'm Jack Jackson? <laughs> you can. People don't always call you what you want them to, but you can try. What is that? Jack, find the others, then hide and don't come out till I tell you. He's got the I'm evil lighting going for him. <laughs> All right. Well, looks like we're at the end of another chapter here. Chapter four. Okay. What I did. You become prior of Kingsbridge. Okay. Uh, hmm. Well, does does as you asked his allies, the Ham Hamelays, attacked Earl's castle. The thief you reported, Brother Marcus, fled the priory after serving a uh, severe caning. All right. I don't know how much of that is actually good. Now, with this game, I'd be very curious, indeed, if there was a way for me to not get involved in the politics at all. And if, indeed, I did that, would that mean that there wouldn't be an attack on the Earl? I have a hard time believing that, but I guess anything is possible. All right, chapter five. Man in the flames. 
Oh, there are at least 200 of them at the river. Knights, again? What colors do they wear? They are not knights, Philip. Uh-oh. They say they cannot pay. It is all right, Brother Paul. I told them that there's a toll. Who is your leader? Who will speak for you? No one will speak for us, monk. We were chased from every village. They are outlaws. We are no outlaws. <laughs> We come from Earl's Castle. They killed our men! My child! They killed my child! By God. We cannot feed you. We barely have enough for ourselves. Alright, we will give them shelter. We will give them shelter. Philip, we have not enough room. We will give you all shelter, all of you. I wish I had more to give. More? We've given away almost all the food we have. What will these poor people eat tomorrow? Before they came here, they fed themselves. They worked. Surely they could do that again. <sighs> there are more coming. Word is spreading fast. What do we do now, Philip? Give me the rest of the bread. But here, Philip. All right, so it looks like we might be building up a village, not the ideal way of doing it, but all right. Then Help to clean out the empty houses and tend to the injured. You heard our prior, brothers. All right, it looks like we're back on the map here. I don't know if we're going to have access to the full map. I have, it looks like, many pieces of bread here. And I have many things. Okay, yeah, all right, well... Looks like he says the same thing, regardless of what I click on here, so... We've got three pieces of bread, and it looks like there is many groups. So we've got injured people, children without parents, we've got group of refugees, hungry women and children, and refugees at mill. Alright, so... Let's stop at the children without parents. The children are all alone. None of them are crying. Hmm. I do not dare to call on you, God, for fear you might answer. What have I done? Okay, well, this one it specifically says are hungry, so I'm going to go ahead and give them one of the Take some bread for your children. This is not enough. He has more bread. I saw it. Please, our children are starving. Give us bread for our children. How do we deserve this? Why has God forsaken us? He has not forsaken you. But our children are sick. Our husbands were killed. <laughs> all right, well, we'll talk to all the groups, or at least... Earl it... Bartholomew was a good man. How they humiliated him front of his children it was not right he will come to help us no woman they will hang him but why <laughs> oh it looks like he was already defeated it was the hamleys they couldn't get their rotten son married to our young lady if there is any justice in the world the king will punish them all right well Thank you, Prior, for your clemency. Uh, I know there's only so much you can do. <coughs> Let's see about the children without parents. I don't know if we're able to give them bread, too. I mean, there's more refugee groups children, in there. Take some food. Please, take it. 
You have to eat. Here, I will put it here. Eat when you are hungry. Now, the decision is, who do we give the next bit of food to? Because it, uh... Again, there's more groups than there are people here. So, I mean, I could keep giving the hungry women and children food. Um, and that might be the right thing to do. Oh, there's a dying man with a child. Don't move, Pa. I can work. I've always worked. Please let us stay. What is this, Pa? Your leg has turned all black. I taught my children how to make baskets and ropes. Ah. All right, so... You'd think the injured would be a priority here, but if the injured are going to die, I, I have to be a realist here, uh, might be worth giving the food to another group that has a better chance of surviving. Uh, I'll give it to the injured, though. Take some bread. Only one loaf of bread for all of us? In Wigley they spat on us. And now you want to complain when this monk shows mercy. But I thank you, Father. Please give some to those give people it over to there. Us. We have Why nothing. did this happen? What do we Our do? Our children wrong? will die in this cold. Oh. Wake Please, up, oh. Let us stay. We, we can work. <laughs> <laughs> That was lovely. Okay, let's go ahead and inspect this. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and save this reading for the next video. In any case, I hope you guys have enjoyed. This is Mouse Gunner, signing out.